Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, straight away before anything else, can I just say how happy I am for the Golden State Warriors? They're kind of back. I mean, not necessarily winning the title yet, but they're back in the playoff mix, making another run. They're healthy again for the first time in many years. They're doing this at their brand new home of Chase Center, which has never experienced, you know, a postseason run and push like this. So we were all so lucky in the mid 2000s to see what they did, see what they put together. It went away for a couple years. And yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy the Warriors are kind of back and maybe what's to come even for the next several years. But there is also something that needs addressing here. The recent moniker slash nickname for their starting lineup. People have called it the PTSD lineup, as in Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green. And I'm not exactly even 100% sure of the origins here. Did it start on Twitter did it start with Gary Payton Jr., one of the Warriors players? I don't know. Um, what I do know is that Gary Payton Jr. commented on it saying, I've seen that somewhere. It pretty much goes pretty well, so I guess we're going to stick with it. I just, I don't think PTSD is something to make light of. I can't believe that it it came up. Okay, somebody called it that. And then maybe it made some headlines and maybe it was on some signs that fans were holding and it got on social media. But how it ever continued or persisted, I mean, some of those articles I just showed you there were only from a day or two ago. How How is that not seen as quite inappropriate considering what PTSD actually is? Post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental health condition that's triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. Most people who go through traumatic events may have temporary difficulty adjusting and coping, but with time and good self-care, they usually get better. If the symptoms get worse, last for months or even years, and interfere with your day-to-day functioning, you may have PTSD. Getting effective treatment after PTSD symptoms can be critical to reduce symptoms and improve function. And I know I'm not the only one out there who's thinking, like, are, are, are people really rolling with this, this lineup name of PTSD? Kareth Burke, my colleague here at NBC Sports, and she put this out uh, a while back, April 19th. I see how people arrived at PTSD for the letters and the players' last names, but I'm 100% throwing cold water on that nickname. PTSD is a medical diagnosis following serious trauma. Let's be compassionate and not make light of what it means. And and I think that is so well put. Um, There are sports terminologies out there that we use all the time that, that sometimes are just inappropriate for like the moment in baseball. Hitting bombs, like hitting a home run. It's really hard to use that expression when in Ukraine right now, Actual bombs are dropping and killing people. And I know that's a sports term, and it, it, it wasn't inherently trying to you know, bring those thoughts. It's just an expression. But, but sometimes sports terminology, like even itself, has a limit where like, it is an absolute reach to be like, oh, that's cool. Let's, let's glamorize PTSD. Like, let's, let's use that and make it a thing just because those are four letters that also exist. Uh, And I know, I know maybe a lot of people have already moved on from this or they quickly realized that it was inappropriate. I'm glad they did. I'm still blown away that not everybody has has completely squelched this. But I, I just think like that needs addressing. That needed to go away like yesterday. People that made, like people spent time graphically depicting this. I don't know. It's just, it's for me, it's, it's, it's inappropriate. There, there's a line here that's been crossed, and I know it's just a handful of people doing it. But uh, let, let's call it. Let's call an end to it. What do you say? Let me know what you think in the comment section below.